The lemma in passage section locates every occurrence of Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic lemmas in your commentaries, providing you with detailed discussion of key terms from the passage you're studying. Imagine you're studying 1 Timothy 4.10, where Paul writes, For to this end we toil and strive, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. What does Paul mean when he says, especially of those who believe? Can the underlying Greek word aid us in understanding this passage? To expose the Greek term translated here, right-click the term, and in the right-hand column of the context menu, Logos tells us that the Greek word used here is malista. Now, to explore what our commentaries say, select 1 Timothy 4.10, and to the left, Bible Word Study Guide. Scroll down to the section labeled Lemma in Passage. In this section, Logos lists the Greek words mentioned in commentaries within a discussion of 1 Timothy 4.10, even if that discussion happens in a commentary on a different book of the Bible. A number of key resources like the NIGTC, an exegetical summary of 1 Timothy, and ICC contain discussions precisely on this word. Click on the NIGTC volume to expand the results. In the first result, the commentator tells us a better solution may be had by an alternate understanding of Malista. This sounds like precisely the discussion I'm looking for. So, I'll click on the Greek word to jump to the place it occurs. George Knight writes, Malista has usually been rendered especially, and regarded in some way distinguishing that which follows it from that which goes before it. Skeet argues persuasively that Malista in some cases should be understood as providing a further definition or identification of that which precedes it and thus renders it by such words as that is. If this proposal is correct here, which seems most likely, then the phrase Malista piston should be rendered as that is believers. According to Knight, we can appeal to this passage to prove Paul teaches the doctrine of universalism. Instead, evidence from the papyri helps us better understand important nuances about the word malista. We can also explore specific lemmas through the Bible Word Study Guide. In the search box of the Bible Word Study Guide, input G colon logos and hit enter. Again, scroll down to the lemma in passage section. The results are now arranged according to books of the Bible. Let's click on Genesis. We can expand any of the resources to see what passages in Genesis contain a discussion of Logos. The Cambridge Commentary on Genesis contains two citations, one from Genesis 1.1 and the other from Genesis 1.3. In the preview for both of these verses, we see references to the Gospel of John. To explore the connection between these passages, click on Logos in the first entry to open the commentary. Ryle notes that the opening words of John's Gospel, NRK Hain Ha Logos, are based upon this clause. But, whereas St. John refers to the words eternal pre-existence before time, the Hebrew writer simply speaks of the beginning of the universe as the historical origin of time and space. And in the second reference, Ryle writes, It's only through the revelation of the New Testament that we can learn to identify the work of creation with the operation of the personal word. The Lemma and Passage section directs you to everywhere your commentaries contain a discussion of the Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic words in the passage you're studying, or everywhere a specific lemma occurs within your commentaries.